in Dearborn Heights are looking at the possibility someone tried abducting children twice this week, Tuesday and Thursday. As Jason Colthorpe reports, there's not a great description of the stranger in question, but parents do have a description of the car. The first incident happened here on Croissant across from Bedford Elementary when a man in a silver Malibu approached two students. The second incident happened at this corner yesterday morning when a little girl was walking to Polk Elementary, which is right around the corner from here. Same guy, same silver Malibu with the same story. It's really crazy, you know, you don't think it's going to happen to you, but it does. Chad Connard's son was the boy approached on Tuesday by the stranger who said this. His mom and dad, you know, their mom and I were in the hospital. Uh, he knew that it was wrong because he already saw his mom's vehicle. Uh, so he didn't think twice and he immediately started running for his mom. His son is still a little shaken up since it happened and has a lot of questions. It's scary for both, you know, parent and child. It's it's not the greatest feeling in the world. Um, you know, a thousand things have gone through my mind. I'm just glad that he's brave and he did make the right decision. Other parents at these two schools are on high alert. This mom worried about her daughter. She's very friendly. And that's what scares me because I don't know if somebody can come into the school and tell her, hey, you know, you got to come with me or it's just frightening. Police are asking people to keep an eye out for a silver Chevy Malibu like the one seen here. The driver is a white male with what's described as blonde chin hair, maybe a goatee. Gina McCulley and her boyfriend have five kids to worry about and are being proactive. It scares us. We've been driving around the neighborhood just to see if we can see this car, spot this guy. So with police increasing patrols in the community, keeping an eye out for the Silver Malibu, parents keep having those conversations with your kids even after this guy is caught. In Dearborn Heights, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. And we just got off the phone with Dearborn Heights Police. They tell us there have been no new incidents. No arrest has been made, though, either.